So in a recent video, Dan Worrell has claimed that condenser and dynamic microphones are 90 degrees out of phase when directed at the same source at the same distance, because supposedly one of them is sensing pressure and the other is sensing velocity of the air. And since one is the derivative of the other, there should be a 90 degree or quarter wavelength phase shift between them. But this reminded me of my electroacoustics lecture in uni, where the professor claimed this was actually the difference between an omnidirectional and a ribbon microphone. So I thought that was confusing and I figured I'd just take some measurements. Unfortunately, I don't have a ribbon microphone, but I do have examples of all the other possible combinations of properties. So I thought I would test these and see what the results are. The dynamic cardioid microphone is of course the good old SM57. Uh, this is a Neumann KM184, which is a condenser cardioid microphone. The omnidirectional condenser is a biodynamic MM1. And the omnidirectional dynamic microphone is an old Sennheiser MD21, which is a bit of an odd one, but it is dynamic and it is omnidirectional. So I've set them all up right in front of my studio monitor, trying to make distance as close as possible. It's not exact, but uh, it shouldn't be near a quarter wavelength, so we should still be able to see a pretty clear result in the end. And I've connected them all to the four inputs on my fire face, so we've got the same preamps and the same converters, and I'm recording all four channels at the same time in Logic with a test oscillator as my source. They're all in phase. So uh, there you have it. Apparently they're all in phase, regardless of directionality or operating principle. Uh, I don't have like a figure of eight ribbon mic, so if anybody could try that out, that would be cool. Thanks for watching.